rolling. Five, four. This is the lesson three, section one video. It's the rotated plan method of creating an accurate two-point perspective drawing. I've laid out a very simple interior room. You can see wall, window, a little dog leg, and another wall. And on this drawing, I've superimposed a 60 degree cone of vision. And when you're drawing a two-point perspective or laying one out using this methodology, you'll always want to keep in mind that about a 60 degree cone of vision will keep everything in proportion on your final perspective drawing. The station point where we're looking at this interior is located right here and back here is the picture plane. Now these little uh, indications will become more apparent as we get into our final layout drawing. So I've got one more drawing here that I've done before that we can use for demonstration purposes. And again, what I've done is I've made the picture plane parallel with the board. And I'm just going to tape this to the demonstration board so everything will remain parallel. Now this is a drafting technique. And that's one of the problems with this technique is that it takes a lot of time and you have to be very precise when you're laying out a drawing. So from the station point, right here on the drawing, I'm going to take a guideline to the rear corner of the room and that rear corner passes through the picture plane. At the intersection of the picture plane, with this guideline from the station point, I will drop a line straight down, and this becomes the back corner of the room that I'm going to lay out. Now, everything has got to be scaled in this type of drawing. So the room itself is laid out at one quarter inch equals a foot. The back corner I'm going to make at a 10 foot height and I will mark this off in one foot increments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten feet high. The next step is to locate the horizon line. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll place that horizon line about six feet above the ground. Six feet, between five and six feet is normal standing eye level. And uh, that's usually the way when we're doing interior sketches that we lay out our drawings. Now I have to locate the vanishing point. So I want to take a line that is parallel with this rear corner. With this rear wall and extend that up to the picture plane point right here and on the opposite side I've already laid it out it's right here parallel with this corner of the wall move it up to the picture plane and then we will drop these lines straight down to the horizon line and this will locate our right vanishing point and our left vanishing point. Now from the vanishing points I can begin to lay out the left wall of the room. And I will now start on the right wall of the room, first locating the location of the window on this right wall. From the station point, I will draw a light guideline through the front corner of the window, the right side of the window, extending those lines up to the picture plane, and then dropping the lines lightly down to my perspective drawing. Now the height of this window, I will make it from the vanishing point, going through the eight foot indication on the wall, 
that represents the top of the window. And I'll make my window one, two, three feet above the floor. There's the window. Now to show the depth of the window from the station point through the rear of the window, I will draw another light guideline and then drop that line from the station point down to my perspective. And I can now fill in the depth of the window. There's the top and the bottom coming from the right vanishing point. Now the dog leg, this little front corner right here from the station point projected to the station, to the picture plane. From the picture plane, bring the lines straight down. That represents that front edge of the dog leg. From the left vanishing point, from the back wall to the dog leg. From the vanishing point, from the ceiling to the dog leg. That dog leg is going to have a little depth to it, so we will go that we will show the depth from the right vanishing point. Now the depth indication in the plan view through that rear corner to the picture plane and down demonstrates the depth of the dog leg from the left vanishing point. I can complete the wall. Now that's probably the real benefit of this kind of drawing, is that you can quickly lay out proportions of a room. Now imagine if this was a really complicated drawing with a lot of objects and pieces of furniture. Already you can begin to understand how complex this drawing would actually be. And that's why very, very few designers will ever take the time to lay out a complete perspective using this methodology. I'm just darkening up the lines with a Sharpie pen just to make this a little more readable on the video. And this obviously is a drafting methodology. You really do need a T-square, triangle, and you have to be very precise with your measurements if you are doing a highly complex drawing. The slightest bit off in your measurements will result in a drawing that's very difficult to understand. Now to complete this drawing, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to grid off the walls. So again, if I use my scale up in the top view, one quarter inch, and I'm just going to draw a two foot grid. So two, four, six, eight feet on this side, and coming off of here, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve feet is right here. I'll run that straight back to this wall, twelve. 14, 16, 18, and 20. Now I have to take each one of these points from the station point and run them up to the picture plane. There's the two foot, four foot, six foot, eight foot lines, and you're beginning to see just how much plotting in projection this methodology requires. Once we get the walls done, we can transfer the grid to the floor. And I'm just going to put a little check mark where they are because I'm getting so many lines that it's going to be really tricky to kind of follow where everything goes. Yeah, it's 
a little off on that one. I'm trying to rush through this. And now I can drop these lines down to the front view, grid line one. And you'll notice with linear perspective, as these lines that I'm drawing get further away from the corner of the room, they appear to get a little further apart. As things converge toward a vanishing point, they appear to get closer together. Now let's just complete the floor grid from the vanishing point, right vanishing point. I will run floor grid lines. And once again, this seems to be a fairly simple process in this video because I'm doing a very, very simple room. Imagine if this were a highly complex drawing. How long and complex this might actually take to complete. So there we've got the full grid done and I could now use the grid to uh, put in all my furniture and other detail pieces. It would also be real simple to run the grid on the wall. Horizon line is actually the six foot mark. Top of the windows at the eight foot mark. And I think this is as much gridding as I really have to do for purposes of this video. The book does review this whole process in detail and uh, the only time that I've ever used it is when I've wanted to use this methodology just to proportion the basic room. From that point on I generally rely more on my sense of scale and proportion to complete the perspective drawing. So that completes this video lesson and we can get on with the next one.